Hello all, uh, it's Rafał Baranowski. I'm the head of technical department in Folcha Solar. Uh, I hope you're gonna find uh, our channel useful. It's dedicated uh, channel for our installers, electricians, and everyone involved in solar installations. So this is the power roll. Um, application for that inverter is both uh, residential market, okay, up to 25 amp limits, which is the NC6, but not only. Uh, that unit can be installed uh, up to 30 kilowatts input output. That means up to six inverters in parallel. Okay. Um, that uh, parallel um, installation will allow you to add up to 180 kilowatt hours of storage. You can find the uh, output on the box itself when you choose the capacity um, is available from our warehouses uh, with large stock from 3.6 to 5 kilowatt output, okay? So uh, let's start unboxing our so far uh, power all system. First part is to remove the straps and open the box. So inside the box, guys, it's uh, literally plug and play. Everything is in the box. You don't need to arrange, buy or go um, anywhere else because the system have everything that's needed for the installation. So box is opened. Inside the box, first thing to spot is the paper. Very important part especially for the installers. I'm gonna show you what is what, okay? That um, quality certification, okay? That's needed and that's after years because so far um, warranty is 10 years, okay? You need to leave that um, at the end user, okay? With the end user. So the best, uh, best approach is to attach that permanently somewhere at the inverter, okay? So on any stage, if they want to contact uh, so far with the updates, upgrades, or any uh, particular uh, requirements, uh, they can call out that number and so far we'll uh, verify that. Next thing is the uh, additional uh, cert with all the passes, okay? If um, SEAI um, auditors want to uh, see um, pre-certification um, booklet, this is that. Next thing, of course, with any standard product, um, warranty card. Okay, that need to be filled out um, by the installer. Okay, most important part, it's the manuals, guys. Okay. Please read them before you install the unit. Okay, next step will be to compare what's actually inside the box uh, corresponding to the packaging list. So, first thing in the box is um, the data logger. Data logger, uh, reading of information from the inverter, uh, it's passing that to the data logger. From data logger, data logger um, sending all the informations via uh, internet into the European servers. From the servers, you can see the information information about the plants uh, on your monitoring platform. Next thing corresponding to the packing list, it's the side covers for the inverter. Next thing on the list is the side covers for the mounting bracket. Now we go into the section where we have all the accessories in one large bag. Okay. So what we're going to find there is that Ethernet uh, or uh, LAN cable, okay? 
uh, this is extra accessory in case you want to parallel or add on more batteries to existing system. Okay. Next thing is the multi port or communication port, port we call it. There are even ferrules provided inside the box, so please use them. Next thing is the terminal uh, for the backup or EPS socket. Another part is the AC terminal to connect your AC grid to the inverter. Okay. All the necessary tools, small tools for the accessories are inside the packaging as well which means that Alan keys. Again, you got the fire rails uh, included uh, here, so please use them. Everything is very cre clearly marked uh, on the terminal as about uh, where the live, neutral and ground going. Next thing is so-called city clamp. It's quite delicate, so don't make sure you don't drop it. If you do, there might be issues, okay? Then you need to ring me and I will send you spare unit, okay? And another bits and pieces, which is the mounting brackets. So two parts for the wall mount. interlock between the inverter and the batteries. Very flashy, very quick installation. We all uh, as well have the wall plugs, uh, metal wall plugs uh, supplied. So you see everything, 100% of what you need for the installation is provided. And next thing are the MC4s, connectors needed to finish off the job on the PV side, okay? So the black male and female will go in to connect your panels into the inverter, okay? Uh, internal metal connectors, okay? Looks like that. Hope you can see that. So these are dedicated uh, inserts for MC4s, for PV side. One type of crimper uh, is supposed to be used for those. And also you have the blue terminals. Okay. Blue terminals are only to be used with the battery, nothing else. They are um, dedicated and only can be used for the batteries. And uh, the <clears throat> terminals for the batteries are a bit different, okay? They are more chunky because those batteries are high voltage, uh, so 400 volts going in. So you can't use standard crimp tool to uh, finish off those terminals, okay? Um, uh, you can ring me to uh, to make sure you got the correct crimp tool for those, but don't crimp the battery terminals with PV MC4s, okay? Because you're gonna damage them. Those are dedicated MC4s, original for the unit and only supposed to be used. The next and last uh, two parts that are in the box is the mounting bracket. Uh, mounting bracket for the batteries is included uh, only with the inverters, okay? okay? Last part is the inverter itself. So in the front, 
very slim, lovely white. Um, on the right hand side, you're gonna have the touch buttons. Okay, this is HMI, human machine interface, or your screen. Um, this is the status lights here for the battery, as it states SOC, state of charge. And then you got the status of operation. Okay, basically uh, that's the front. On the left hand side, you're gonna find uh, all the connections. Okay. Uh, this is the connection for the data logger. This is the battery on-off switch. This is the battery wake compound. This is the battery groups here. This is the power part, and this is communication part for the first group. And this battery two terminals, battery uh, um, two communication it's for the group number two uh, for the inverter so now we moved to the right hand side of the unit right hand side is um, where you can find the connections for the pv okay pv1 pv2 this is the pv breaker on off nice things about that is you don't need to install external breakers so next thing is the communication port above is the backup socket and next to it above is the main ac grid common action okay so on the back of the unit you can see one massive uh, radiator this is to help the unit to breathe um, more and uh, take out the extra heat if it's you know installed in very hot places so uh, we are after introducing unboxing the inverter part now we're gonna show you what's in the box of the pts 5k battery okay guys so this is the battery module okay uh, it's uh, so far bts 5k uh, each module is uh, five uh, kilowatt uh, hours in capacity. Okay, guys. So inside the battery, we got uh, pre-made wires. It's the wiring kit supplied. Okay. Inside the uh, bag, uh, we're gonna find uh, quality cert that need to be left at the inverter with the end user okay we also gonna find uh, end resistor we call it it's just to close the communication on the battery last battery always need to have that in pre-made power leads between the inverter and the battery or between the batteries And this is the interconnect for the communication. Okay. Also, we got the grounds between the modules supplied. Another bag. It's the mountings and necessary <clears throat> accessories to install the units at customer's place. So again, we got wall mounts, okay, two of them. Uh, we got the interconnectors between the modules and all necessary screws. Additionally, you always get uh, wall plugs, which is very handy. And the last part that you're going to find in the box are the side covers, which is going to make that unit very pretty when install is finished. So we got the battery out. Uh, be careful because the weight of that unit is around 50 kgs. So when you handle that, two people need to be there, okay? Safety first. 
This is the high voltage battery. Again, five kilowatts uh, storage on each. If you have one battery in the system, uh, maximum uh, output and input will be two and a half kilowatts each battery. I don't another two and a half to the uh, battery storage. On the left hand side, um, there are connections for the power and for communication. And this is the output to another battery output for the communication. And now this is the rear of the battery. As you see, very flush and simple uh, design. Uh, only thing that you can spot is different is the radiator that uh, take out the heat if, if the battery uh, getting hot. So what we can see here, it's pre-assembled uh, Safar solar power all system uh, with inverter section and battery section okay uh, at the moment it's one of the best sellers not only on the irish market but on the global market uh, the design as you see it's uh, beautiful uh, not only that it's uh, beautiful and give you more options where to install it okay in the house um, but the performance is uh, great of the unit. We have now around 2000 units on the market installed. Um, no question, it's one of the best performance, performers for residential market in Ireland. Guys, again, uh, Folcha Solar is the only uh, distributor in uh, European market that have dedicated group of engineers uh, that uh, hold the technical team back and and after sale support. Also pre-sale, if you got any questions, uh, contact us no matter the time, day of the week, there will be someone answering the, your queries. You're going to find the link um, in the description. So please, again, follow us. Hey guys, thank you very much um, for today uh, joining today's video. I hope you like it, uh, you, you like the content. Uh, if you want to see more, um, subscribe to our channels.